Hi and welcome back to Normski TV, doing our player ratings and review of the game, Mould against Arsenal. Arsenal 3, Molder nil, and um, or Moldy, should I say, nil. And um, sorry about that, I got sweet in my mouth. Um, yeah, um, was it a game of two halves? I don't know, I wouldn't say it was a game of two halves, but what I would say is that um, the first half, the first sort of the first five, ten minutes of the game, you know, um, we played okay. Um, started off really fast and everything, and then we kind of sort of reverted back to our kind of old pragmatic slow, you know. And the game started to just kind of just really get boring, basically. And and um, apart from one massive chance from Mulder, um, where the striker should have done better and scored, literally open goal, and he misses and connects with the post. And uh, yeah. Um, you know, the rest is history when it comes to uh, talking about certain never regions. But anyway, let's not go into that. Um, let's talk about um, Arsenal and uh, the actual actual team selection and formation. And uh, he went um, with a, looks like a 4-4-2 formation, um, even though there were times where Lacazette um, seemed like he was playing in that kind of like number 10 role and sort of kind of dropping deep, trying to pick the ball up. Uh, Eddie and Kessia was kind of like the all out and out striker. Um, he went with runner sitting goal with a back four, which I said yesterday of um, Suarez, Mustafi, Louise, and Maitland Niles. And then in the, the, the four, which I mean, I went for, I said he, he may go with a four. Um, I think it was a four. Two, three, one, but he went with a four, four, two by the looks of it. So you had Pepe on the right, Willock and Shaka um, in the middle, and um, Nelson on the the left hand side with um, um, Lacazette and Enketia up up front. And as I said, you know, game started off quite fast. You know, Lacazette um, was trying to string some passes together, but after a while, he started to fade. And and to be honest, um, if Lacazette is trying to make a claim or stake a claim to, you know, be picked um, on that performance. Uh, I was not really happy with the way he played yesterday. Um, just, I don't know, he just looks like he doesn't want to be there, in all honesty, you know. And Eddie and Ketia, um in terms of the goals, just missing chances. And um, I think he was just trying too hard, uh, for me personally speaking. And as I said, the, the, the first half, kind of like after a while, he was trying to watch paint dry. And, and then eventually, um, you know, we go in for half time. Second half, totally different game. It's like we just played with the and break off. I mean, you know, I suppose our mo most, you know, sort of positive player in the first half and was trying to make things happen was Pepe. You know, he had a couple of chances. Um, you know, I think he had the, the most touches, if, if I'm not mistaken. But he... Um, he, you know, for me, um, was probably, you know, when it comes when it does come to the play ratings, probably had the best um, man of the match performance. Uh, he really did play well, and I'm glad that um, Arteta, you know, um, put his arm around him and said, "Look, just go out there and just express yourself." And that's what he he did, and I, I like what he was doing. You know, he was he was picking taking on the players, you know, literally trying to get it on his left and trying to curl it in, and eventually, as we know. He does make it a goal, and that was in the, the second half. But as I say, first half wasn't brilliant, but second half totally um, turned it around in terms of the way we played, was knocking the ball around much quicker, and it was really nice to see us playing with the freedom, um, you know what I mean? And and that's all we're asking Arteta to do, and obviously this is our second string side. I'm hoping that we can replicate that when we play against Wolves when we're at home, um, but maybe um, Arteta may, um, you know, revert back to his, his his norm, so or type, you know what I mean. So we'll see what happens come Sunday evening in terms of how he sets out his team and whether he's gonna he's gonna go back to playing a very defensive, pragmatic style of, of, of football. Even though Wolves kind of play um, that counter attacking football as well, so it'd be interesting to see how uh, that. Sort of pans out, but second half, as I said, we really played well. Um, Nelson, Reese Nelson, 
you know, liked what he was doing. Um, you know, Willock, um, second half, much better, two assists. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was okay all around, you know what I mean? So when I do come to do my player ratings, I will obviously assess them on their individual ability. Um, there were players that were a lot better than others. And for those uh, that want to stake a claim for the first team, they didn't really do a good job of that. And I will come to that um, when we come to the player ratings. And so, um, second half, um, we had a, a goal, um, the first goal coming from Nicolas Pepe, assist from, with a lovely take from from um, Pepe, you know, picking it up on his uh, on his left. The first time he, he actually hit the, the crossbar and I thought that would have been a brilliant goal when he, he, he sort of hit the crossbar and came down um, and I thought he was in. Um, and a couple of times he was trying that throughout the game and I thought he, one of them has got to come off and, you know, in the, I think it was the 50th minute, um, an assist came from Joseph Willett. We played, sort of kind of chipped the ball across um, from left to right and then Pepe sort of um, cut in on his left foot and just lovely curled it. Um, into the into the back of the goal and we go 1-0 up in 50 minutes and then within 5 minutes another assist from the right hand side now so when we're talking about creativity you know these were coming from the wings another a cross lovely cross from Willock first time cross and um, uh, um, uh, what's the name running across the player Nelson running across the player and, and hitting that first time into the back of the net so that was really um, really good um, and we go 2-0 up on 55 minutes. And so, literally, we had the game, you know. Apart from that first kind of shot on target from from Mulder in the first half, they didn't really do nothing. They didn't really test uh, Runderson. Uh, apart from there was one instant, I think, in the first half where... Oh, no, second half, I think it was where he, he decided he was going to run out and uh, cut a ball down that was played over the top. And literally, he misjudged it. Lucky enough, Maitland-Niles was there to um, cover for him. So, you know, apart from that, you know, he didn't have a a, 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 a bad game. You know, it was only that, that one little mistake that he made. But lucky enough, as I said, Maitland-Niles was there um, to, to cover for him. And um, so in terms of um, the, the substitutes that came on, obviously, um, David Luiz went off. Um, oh, he didn't come back out in the second half and uh, Holden, Rob Holden came on. Um, and uh, he, um, Rob, yeah, he came on for him because it seems as if um, David Luiz picked up some sort of muscle injury. So um, I don't know how bad it is or what the extent is. Um, we'll probably hear about it in um, uh, Arteta's uh, post-match or if not, when he comes to do his um, pre-match um, football um, interview on the um I have some time today if he hasn't done it already. Um, so, look, he, uh, Balogun, sorry, not Balogun, Kieran Tini came on for Willock. Um, uh, Mel Smith Rowe came on for uh, uh, Lacazette because Lacazette, just for me, literally, he was probably, between him and Eddie and Kessler, probably the worst players on, on the pitch. Um, and I, I just don't know. He just looked like Lacazette doesn't seem interested, even though he didn't look too happy when coming off. But, you know, um, you know, um, Balogun comes on for Eddie and Ketia, and then within the space of, I don't even think it was a minute, lovely turn, swivel and turn, an assist from Reese Nelson, um, not Reese Nelson, sorry, from Emil Smith um, Rowe, um, uh, literally pre assist. Lovely ball from Kieran Tini. Uh, Miss as Mill Smith Rowe picks it up and you know just plays it across um the the the, the eighteen yard box and uh there is um uh Balogun to, to six yard box to there to swivel and turn and takes it first time. Lovely. That was his first European goal, which is brilliant, um and and, and senior goal. So he you know, he, I like the way that the players came around and celebrated with him. So that was really great to see. Um, and long may it continue, you know what I mean? And I think with these next two games, now that we've qualified with 12 points, um, four games out of four, um, it would be nice maybe to start him uh, away um, to then... Do I don't know if that's our next game or we are home to um, Rapid Vienna, so I don't know, but it would be nice to maybe give him, start him 
um, and see see how he goes. You know what I mean? Because now that we've we've qualified, let's let's get the likes of Elmer Mill Smith Rowe starting. Um, you know, um, Aziz and Cottrell. Let's let's see what these guys have got. Let's see whether they can step up. Um, so it was good to see um, a couple of the youngsters coming on and literally doing more than what um, Lacazette and Enketia did. Even though Enketia is a young guy, but you know, you know, he did the business, and I'm really really pleased for that. So we go three and up, kept a clean sheet. Even though my prediction was three one, but a great thankful that it was a. Uh, a three nil, and going into the Wolves game on Sunday, we go into that game confident. It's just now whether the first team now can replicate and step up, play with the and break off. Let's see how that pans out come Sunday. Um, um, so Danny Sabalas came on as well for Granite Shaka. Uh, didn't really do much, but you know, you know, he came on um, in I think the sixty second minute, and. Um, yeah, we go ahead and we win that game. And um, everybody's happy. Arteta's happy and uh, he was really pleased the way um, Pepe played that evening. Um, and, you know, if just a pity, you know, he maybe could have had an hat trick, you know, because he was he was playing out of his skin. And as I said, he was definitely the man of the match for me. And if I, that's what I want to see. That kind of, that's the Pepe that I want to see. Taking on fullbacks, taking on running at them, getting it onto that left peg of his. He's got a wicked left peg and then putting it into the back of that net. So I'm going to go ahead with the um, the player ratings and let's start off first with um, Renison in goal. As I said, apart from um, two, one sort of dodgy moment where he ran out and and uh, tried to close down a ball and he misjudged it. Um, didn't really have much to do. Uh, the the made a kind of save from the guy that missed the open goal, um, and that was really it. So I'm going to give Runnison a seven. I'm going to give Runnison a seven. Um, Suarez, um, Dennis Suarez. Um, yeah, his crosses. I mean, he was trying to get forward as much as possible, trying to overlap, but it, the crosses just wasn't getting the, meeting the first man. Do you know what I mean? Um, was it one of his Best games, just okay. Just even just 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 okay. Just an average game, basically. I'm gonna give Suarez a five. Uh, Mustafi again didn't really have to work hard. They didn't. They weren't really really tested. Didn't really do anything um, to say. Oh my god, they had a bad game. Um, so again, I'll give Mustafi a. I'll give Mustafi a five as well. Uh, David Luiz uh, didn't come back out second half. But when he was on the pitch, you know, he does what he does in terms of um, being that leader um, and, and just trying to pull things together. Um, I'm going to also give David Luiz a five. I'm sounding like Ty here. <laughs> um, Maitland-Niles. Um, he, he, Maitland-Niles, um, again, if he's trying to make a, a, a stake and a claim um, to get in the first team, of that performance, um, you know, a um, couple of times he gave the ball away, and you know, not playing the right pass. You know, what I mean, sometimes he's just playing the pass, and it just didn't go to nobody. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna score Maitland Niles. It looks like the back, the back four are gonna get a five, <laughs> all fives there. Um, going to uh, let's start with the middle of the park. Willock, second and a half, he came alive, got two assists. Um, this time he got his head up and made that pass. You know, he didn't dilly dally about. First half, you know, sometimes he had his head down. And didn't play that decisive pass, but second half he's got two assists, so I'm going to give Willock a seven. Um, Granite Shaka um, just kept things ticking over in the middle of the park again. Nothing special. I'm going to give Granite Shaka a six. Um, Nelson Reese Nelson, I thought he had a good game. Um, got a goal, took it very well, and all was working hard down that left wing, trying to you know stretch stretch our Mulder. And and sometimes cutting in and 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 doing what you know he does best, which is you know picking up the ball and running with the ball. And the good thing about it is that he got a goal, and so I'm really pleased for him um, that he's got that goal. So I'm going to give Reese Nelson also a seven. Um, Pepe, who I think was definitely the man of the match, um, well taken goal, um, and literally just literally from the offset right to the the ninety minutes you know, got the goal, was always running at them, giving them trouble, the back four, giving them trouble. They couldn't live with him. 
Um, I'm going to give Pepe a nine. If we give him a nine for that performance, that's probably one of the best performances I've seen from in 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 a in a, a bit of a long time. Um, Lacazette, unfortunate for me, Lacazette. Um, just I don't know. I don't know what it is about Lacazette. It's, if it's a confidence thing or just I don't know. It just his body language doesn't it doesn't exhume uh, confidence right now. And 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 sometimes. You know when when he when he did pick up the ball, you know he was coming deep to pick up the ball, but again, he's just his final pass laying it off, just wasn't just wasn't there for me. I'm gonna give Lacazette a four. Um, Eddie Nketiah, um trying too hard, just try, trying too hard. When he's when he was meant to, was, you know there was times. I mean, he got a goal disallowed, uh, that was unfortunate, but he got a goal disallowed. But he was just trying too hard. You know, you get Balogun who comes on. Bang! Within thirty odd seconds, he's he's put the ball in the back of the net. The chances that Eddie and Ketia had one over the bar, um, times where he was one on one with the keeper, or, or he had a chance to play the ball either to Lacazette or or Pepe, he didn't. He's trying to hit it and literally just running into um, into a, a dead alley. You know, it just it just wasn't working for him. And I'm going to also give Eddie and Ketia a four as well. I just didn't think he he, he did well in terms of the subs. Um, Rob Holding came on for David Louise. Uh, again, nothing too special to talk about. I'm going to give him a six. Um, Danny Sabalas, again, um, six. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and Mill Smith Rowe got an assist. Um, you can see that this guy is a very much a creative um, player and um, liked his movement and everything. Um, and I think he done well. I'm going to give him a six, even though he was, you know, he was only on for 15 minutes, but still, I'm going to give him a six. Um, he got an assist. Kieran Tierney, pre-assist. Um, just, just when he came on, just a bit more dynamism about the play and everything. And I really like what he did with that pre-assist to Smith Rowe. And um, yeah, I'm going to give him a six as well. And then Florent Balogun, who came on, uh, for about eight to ten minutes in the first thirty-eight seconds, done more than what Lacazette and Enketia did. Puts a ball in the back of the net, gets his first, um, you know, um, senior goal um, and European goal, which I really was pleased for. And I wanted to see him come on and play. He got the the minutes, which I thought he should have probably had longer. Maybe if he had, maybe had a full half. You never know. He could maybe had a brace or something like that. Very strong player. Watching him play, very strong. And you know, technically good as well. So I'm giving I'm giving Florian Balogun a, a seven. I'm gonna give him a seven uh, for just coming on and 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 scoring the goal. Um, uh, Arteta keeping a clean sheet. You know, went brave with a four four two formation and put his trust in some of the youngsters and also in Pepe. And for that, I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give uh, Arteta eight, giving him a eight, eight for that. So all in all, you know. The team did what they did. They were very professional. Um, as I said, first half wasn't brilliant, but second half, they came alive. We go away. We win 3-0, win the group stage. Qualif well, I say win the group stage, you know, qualify. And now we can kind of relax now in terms of the, the next two games, um, final games that we're going to play. And um, we go into the Wolves game on Sunday, which I will be doing my preview for that. I'm just hoping that Players like Partey will be fit. I'm hoping that Louise will be fit. I don't know if um, Saka is going to be fit. But, um, you know, just praying and hoping that these players will come back from injury. We'll get an idea when we uh, see that the, the um, is, is, is pre-match um, press conference for the, the, the Wolves game and see who is going to be available for that game. But other than that, we, we you know, we I'm happy um, that we, we, we've done what we needed to do. And we've qualified for um, the Europa um, knockout stages. So listen, guys, please like, subscribe, share. And I will see you on the next show. Take care.